All right, today you're going to do rotoscoping. Rotoscoping is the best and the worst when it comes to editing. It is incredible and it is awful at the same time. So what you do is you drag in a clip. I have American Psycho staring into the camera, right? You click here on the little man with the brush on, Rotobrush tool. And the new version of After Effects, this has changed to be Rotobrush 2. It is just Rotobrush 1, but improved. Now this clip should be easy because he's outlined. There's nice depth of field on him. He is a singular character. I don't know if it's easy, but let, let's see. So you start drawing with this brush here. All right, just kind of draw an outline of the guy, right? And I'll mark it, all right? It has failed completely. So you start drawing around him by holding Alt and you can drag what you don't want. And there we go. Now it's kind of have a half-assed kind of thing. So you just kind of draw more and more, et cetera, et cetera, like this. But if you kind of draw like this, it goes too much, press Alt, click here, all right? It's that simple. If the brush is too small, hold Control, enlarge it by dragging your mouse, or make it smaller by dragging it the other way. Now I say I have a pretty good outline of his face here, maybe a little bit on the hair here. Change this to best. That is very important. Change the quality to best. That's important. Now you can kind of go here and you can kind of see what it'll look like. It's a bit hard on the edges. So you can up the feather and it'll make it more blurry and nice. I recommend this. And then you just kind of just hit space. And then you'll see it. It's doing its job pretty damn well. Because again, this is an easy shot. It's a singular character on a blurred out background. It's a nice and simple thing. You can kind of see it's starting to pick up here, which I don't like. It's starting to not know what to do. Because the AI is like, well, is there an outline? Is there not? So that's where you would pause and you would draw here to make sure that it knows to stay in its fucking place. Like a dog, you know what I'm saying? But it doesn't do that beforehand because you made the frame here. So if I go back, you can see. So you got to find out when it starts, which is around right here. Draw here. And then it'll, and then now it'll know its place from now on. Now, let's say you're not happy with this result. And it looks okay, but it could be better. That's when you bring in this guy, the Refine Edge tool. And you just kind of... Make it a bit small and you drag along hair, for example, stuff that has frizz, you know, fizzy stuff. You just kind of drag an outline, right? Just kind of do this. Bada bing, bada boom. So let's do it around his whole head. And you can see the white is everything at the text as being a part of the foreground and anything black is what's in the background. Look at that. It looks a lot more realistic. It kind of has like the individual hair strands kind of a bit more. It chipped off some of his ear though. So you could go in here and you could take this part out and then the ear will look a lot nicer. And then you press space again and it's going to be a lot slower and you can see there's some flickering. You could take the refine edge mat and you could smooth it and you could also shadow reduction. Smoother, slower, for example, and it will try and remove the, the frittering, the chatter, exactly. That's a basic rotoscope. If it suddenly decides to go haywall and it goes like, oh shit, like suddenly removes half of it, you just have to go on that frame when it starts and just draw a new line. And if it keeps doing it, you have to do it frame by frame. And that's where something like rotoscoping is so annoying. It is horrible, especially with more detailed clips, stuff that with the character isn't in full focus, etc. where he's doing fast movement. The AI can't keep up. Now, something else you could do inside of After Effects is not use Rotobrush entirely and instead using Mocha. Now, Mocha AE, which follows along with your After Effects, it opens up a completely different software where you have markers. You click up here to select the marker. And then you just kind of start drawing a little thing around him. It's kind of like the masking, but it has automatic tracking. That's a lot better than the standard one inside of After Effects. Now I've taken this. I'm going to make this classic. That's easier to tell. And you can change what you want it to track. Now, if I track this, you'll see that it's actually doing a quite nice job at tracking this. Again, this is an easy scene. But you can see up here, for example, it's not really... It's a bit out. And then you'll do this. And then just kind of like, oh, well, that, I kind of messed up here. Let me... Move back, you know, etc., etc. Then you realize this is only the head. And if I do it for all of the body, it's going to start intertwining and not knowing what to do. So you have to make a lot of different masks on every single body part that you want to rotoscope, which is where it gets kind of annoying and kind of tedious and kind of, God, why did I make myself do this kind of thing? And then you can see now I'm tracking this and it's tracking both of them. And this is again an easy shot. So it'll handle it pretty okay. But I've had to do this a lot where it has just been so bad. It has been tedious and I have to do all of this. I'd almost do it frame by frame, almost by hand. And let's see, that's that's good enough, right? And then we just save it. And then we just go to mat and apply mat. And that's it. Let me go to where I actually tracked. But uh, you can kind of see that it's very sharp. You can up feather, obviously. And see, this is acceptable. I would say if I saw this in a meme, I would be like, this is well made. This is uglier than a roto brush, but it's simpler to do. 
and it's not as tedious. It has less chatter. It's more simplistic, but it's also not, but it also is. It's your own adventure to begin with. If you're going to rotoscope, I suggest trying the roto brush first. And if it does not work, I'll try Maka. And if that doesn't work, give up. <laughs> now, you do some manual masking. I don't know. Try different softwares. There's a lot of rotoscoping softwares. I know Resolve has some. There's some online, etc. It all depends on where you want to go with your quality. This is totally fine. This is totally acceptable. You don't have to be a perfectionist like me to do this stuff. All right. That's all for me again. Have a good day.